Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Skyrim skill analysis. Today, we're going to be talking about Conjuration. And Conjuration is a very complex magic skill. Probably the most complex in terms of the, the skills and the perks and what you can do with them. So just like all magic skills, you know, you have Novice Conjuration through Master Conjuration. And what's interesting is that this line, Novice through Master, is not related to any perks as well as dual casting isn't related to any other perks to getting them of course you know novice you have to get that first before you can get the other perks but yeah then apprentice ad adapt expert master all are not connected to any other perks so you can level those up independently so you have perks a lot of this is either related to summoning things or bonding weapons which is interesting so you have stuff that makes it so your bound weapons do more damage, they soul trap, they banish summoned creatures and turned raised ones. Basically, they kind of say like, okay, if you conjure a weapon, and I have this problem too, if you conjure a weapon, you can't swap things with it. So if you're holding a conjured sword in your right hand, if you say put like a heal spell in that right hand, when you go back, you have to conjure up the sword again. Which means that using other things other than your conjured weapons can get really annoying. So it kind of balances out a little bit. Soul Trap is just straight up a nice benefit because then you never have to think about it. You basically have Umbra with you at that point. Then we get into the Conjuration stuff. Now, there's two things that are basically Conjuration based. There's Undead and then there's Atronox and stuff like that. Now... Going down the undead route allows you to have two summoned things at once faster. The undead only has two perks. The other one with Atronox has three. Now, I like Atronox because I think they're cooler. Uh, I just, I don't know. I don't even know if undead or Atronox are better. I just like Atronox because they're cooler. And they're all related. All the perks you get are related to um, making the things better. So, like, you get more health for your summoned undead. You can summon... Atronox and stuff from farther away, you know, double duration for conjured Atronox. They're more powerful, things like that. So undeads are kind of meant for the tankiness. Atronox are meant for damage. And what do I think about this? I fits conjuration perfectly. I think that I would almost say, like, if they could get rid of the magic cost of, like, like, the, all the magic cost perks, because there's already a lot of perks that you can get in Conjuration. So I think adding more perks would be very bad, because, like, if you add perks, then you have to invest more into Conjuration. You can spend less on other things that you want to use, other skills. But I think that, honestly, I would flesh out Undead and the Atronaut Trees more. If it was the base game. I think... Some skills, like, even speech, as cool as it is, and as much as I like it, if they just took out speech and had, like, two more perks to Conjuration, it'd be nice. Maybe something related to, like, the types of Atronox, the types of Undead, like, lesser Atronox or greater Atronox, something like that. It'd be really, really cool if they added perks related to those. But other than that, I really like Conjuration as a skill. It's fun, unique, you can go about it different ways, and... It does a lot to separate itself from other magic classes. And that's all I have for this video. It's pretty simple. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Skyrim. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.